Take off, James. Nice. Oh, you know, oh. Did he get the wobbles? I saw it. You saw that? I didn't see it. Yeah. yeah. He was probably trying to break. Yeah. That's how it happened. Yeah. You can do another flyby? Yeah, I can do another one. I okay. want your opinion when you're done, okay? Yeah. My opinion, uh -oh. my, my opinion's okay. That is the tires. That's the tire. That's what I hate. Yeah, the drop off. I hate it. Oh my gosh. Nope. My man is not well, there was no beeps. Did you hear any beeps? So he's good. He's safe. Beeping. No beep. He's safe. Only thing I heard beeping was his horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The difference between a free spin and James riding it is not very much. Not right, right, right. <laughs> oh. You know the free spin. Oh man, you're That's right. James's nickname, free spin. Because he rides. He's like, like not he's the size of Chew, bro. He's probably smaller than Chew. Oh. I I never met Chew, but. Choo like, I ain't getting no peace, my choo-choo. Wait, a buck ten, dude. No yeah. <laughs> no, you, bro. you can literally ride the, the um, tilt back. Leave a note, James, on the video with uh, what's your opinion. Please, what's your opinion? That was fantastic riding. Uh, what tire is it? I is hate this, it. Is this, hate the it? Sa is this the same CST that they've been putting on all the wheels? I think that's the, that's a knobby tire, so I have no idea. I, I think this is the same CST. Is it a CST? Yeah, it's a CST. Yeah, that, that might have been. I'm one of us, one so of that's worse the than the Kanda. Yeah, it feels weird on this wheel. So this tire on the EXN, I hate it. It's yeah. terrible. I don't know if it's because I'm higher up. It's not that bad, but there was a time, I don't know if you saw, but it like kind of ripped yep. me a little bit. Yep. And I think that's, no one likes this tire. I don't and like it. No one likes this tire. I don't know why Bagode's using this tire still. At least use the Kenda. Mm -hmm. The Kenda handles so much better. But if you're going fast in a straight line, this tire is not that bad. Once you pick up enough speed, the gyro keeps it upright, and it's not as unpredictable as the uh, the CST is on the EXN. Um, the weight's so low on it that once you're moving, I was worried that I'm so, I'm a light rider. I'm like 120. Um, I've ridden some big wheels like Monster Pros. It's kind of hard to get them moving. This thing just it goes. It really does. It goes the whole thing. I'm just going by. I got a smile on my face. I'm like, <laughs> and then you slow down and it doesn't, you know, it, it feels good when you're going fast, but you slow down and it doesn't feel like a heavy wheel, like a big wheel. You know, it still is maneuverable and I can do everything that I want to do. Like, I think it's perfect. How did you much. feel at high speeds? Um, great. Really nothing. <sighs> That was so. That was the fastest I've ever been on a EUC before. Wow. I've never. Um, I hit. It said I hit like fifth, like forty eight. Yeah, forty eight fifty yeah, somewhere yeah, around yeah. there. Did you hear any beeps? No. No, because it's probably could go way more than that. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to go that crazy. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know exactly where this. This wheel's so new. I don't know where the limits are right, yet. So right. it's like I'm not going to go crazy. But like. What about braking? Um, braking is pretty good. I'd have to get used to it. I think it's the tire. Yeah. The tire has like. The tires, it's, it's a CST knobby, so the braking on it's kind of not the greatest. Right. Um, I went to brake and it, it, a little bit of wobbles, you can carve it out, but it really wasn't anything too bad. Um, I've actually, the master feels worse. I don't know if the ride height's different or I don't know if it's because the weight is lower on this, but like I've ridden masters before and I feel like I'm so high up that when I go to brake, it's real unstable. You really got to get used to that extra right. ride height. But on this, I didn't, it doesn't feel any different. Like coming from the t4 to this i could just ride it wow. what do you like, think i, could, of the I looks? could rip this thing man what do you think of the looks and stuff um aesthetics wise yeah aesthetics wise i think that it's pretty sick looking um yeah it is this doesn't have the uh it doesn't have the lower pads on okay. it looks like uh the kickstand might have got dinged yep, yep, it's because on... it's a review wheel. Oh. someone killed it okay i gotcha yeah that makes sense yeah um it must have been shown yeah um <laughs> i don't I don't like the bottom pads. I think they're kind of weird looking. I kind of wish that they would just get rid of that like bottom bracket there somehow okay. to like raise that up so that way you didn't have to have those pads there. Okay. But my biggest thing, people complain, people hate on it for the kickstand and all this stuff in the back. Yeah. The thing is, this isn't a trail wheel. Right. This is this is a street monster right. to eat potholes. You know, it's not, this isn't meant for single track. This isn't meant to go downstairs. Right. You know, I see Sean, 
taking it downstairs, clipping the stairs and stuff like that, That's scuffing it up. For, yeah. It's not made for that. You know, they got the Bagode boys at the factory, you know, Kebby's out there riding it up the mountain and stuff, but it's cool to see it can do it, but that doesn't mean that's what this is right, for. Right, right. Same as, you know, I think it's silly, other reviewers out there taking like V13s and right. stuff like that on trail, single track, it's not made for it. Yeah. Commander Pro, Sherman S, those aren't, those are street wheels. Those yeah. are street wheels, all-terrain wheels, right. doesn't mean they're off-road wheels. So this wheel to me is like, if you ride mostly street, a little bit of off-road, yeah. I think this wheel is nasty. And uh, it makes sense, right, coming from big wheels back to portable-esque wheels. In yeah. This. yeah, like, as long as you don't have to lift it, because, I mean, this thing is still a beast. Yeah. But, the, I mean, the power and stuff is there, especially, like, I'm light, so I can't speak on power. Right. Every wheel feels like a big wheel to me. <laughs> Every wheel feels high torque to me when right. you're a light rider. <laughs> but... You know, if you're a big boy on this wheel, you could rip this thing. There's This thing's going to have power for days. Right. Um, what do you think of the suspension? Huh? You, didn't have, you didn't really get a chance to feel it, but... I didn't do too much. Um, just jumping around on it, it's soft. Okay. Um, it's really soft. I mean, I, it is my setting. I put it for me, so you can always adjust it, but... Yeah, it's, you think of the yeah I can push it down and it moves. <laughs> the problem, my, my problem... This works great for me, actually. I don't right. know I don't know what you weigh. Every I weigh 174. Every master that I ride, shock is pumped up to like 400 psi 320 I, I stand on it yeah it doesn't move <laughs> so that's my experience on any master i've ever gotten on this thing it, it works great i mean i i hit potholes and stuff like okay, that good, while, good, at good. wild speed and it's yeah. they're not yeah because you hit something over yeah, yeah. it was somewhere yeah, you hit manhole cover right, there. right I yeah. Heard something. There, yeah. There you go, yeah yeah i don't even think about it i've done this is our ride spot i've been riding every single wheel i've ever had here msx um riding it up and down this strip i remember the first time i took the msx for like 30 or something like 35 and i hit a pothole and it got wobbly almost lost it now with suspension you don't even need to worry about it that's right exn my that's exn right. that i ride you know you gotta be careful pushing beeps are close to the limit right. i've hit potholes divots in the road and stuff like that yeah. wheel over torques you get like stuck like forward a little bit and then it's like beep 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 and then you gotta like it like moves you back you're right. like whoa <laughs> This thing's not going to do that to you. What do you think of the trolley handle? Um, Might as well. It's a, It's centered. It is centered. It is centered, but it's heavy. <laughs> so it's not... Realistically, you can wheel it around. Right. Um, you know, I'm pushing it around like gravel and stuff like that, but right. on a smooth surface, it's fine. Well, the cool thing is it has two settings. So you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can have it in the lower Yeah, one. exactly, yeah. Yeah, you can have it like that. Yeah, it's just, it's just like the T4 handle. Right. Um, Gotway, Bigode, you know, they've come a long way from, um, they've come a long way from like the old trolley handle. Like right. the trolley handle on the MSX is trash. Right. The RS is trash. Um, you know what's cool about it? It has the two um, lift bars. There's one in the front and one in the back. Really? I wish, I wish the Master Pro had it. Are these actually yeah, structural? Yeah, these are lift handles for when you're carrying it. Okay, James, let's see you lift it. <laughs> I mean, it's liftable. Yeah, it's liftable, yeah. Isn't having, that cool? Having two points of contact makes it feel so much lighter. Yes, yes. Um, like my EXN, the EXN, what does the EXN have? Not one handle. Yeah, what, that handle, yeah. So when I go to lift up the EXN, like it's all the weight on one arm so yeah. it feels heavier right that's true but whenever you have something Leverage. like this like the sherman is nice i love the sherman roll bar design the sherman roll bar design is the best thing that they ever did and then they kind of like did away with it which is kind of sad yeah. um but i wish that if the wheel's going to be this big it needs to have a good way to lift it right because what what wheel was it that came out and they were um it was like a jimmy chang video or something someone went to pull it out by the trolley handle like this handle they went to pull it out, they broke it. Really? Must have been the master. I don't it, know. It might have been yeah, the master. It was, it was one of them. It was either, you know what? It might have been a hero. It was could it have a hero? been. It might Does have been. the hero ever seen a trolley handle? It was one of the center ones. I thought it might have been a hero. Yeah, they went master. to lift yeah. it and the thing, the thing just like snapped. Yeah, and I'm like. It must have been the hero, yeah. Just bad design. Yeah. 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 T4, T4 doesn't really have a good spot to lift it either. But you can add accessories. To right, it. which you did. Yeah, you can add accessories to give you extra lift points. Awesome. So, anyone else want to try? Does it have a uh, pads are good too. Yeah, I'll, well, that's actually the best pads I've ever seen. These from pads, stock. these pads, they're fully rideable. There was never a point where I was like, because right. I hop on wheels or like wheels without pads. I like, added this bike. 
because it didn't yeah. come with anything. Yeah, so that's why doesn't it come with something like that? If, if, it, the if they went well, and designed this, this is it. This, this is what this is what they thought you were going to use. But I need this. Okay, I, so they I, need to consider adding something. I like, like this that. not just for the braking, but just because of the fact that it kind of holds my foot yes, there. Yes. So that way my foot is kind of. Yeah. I don't use it for braking. I don't yeah. use this for braking. I use it for what you said. What you just said. I just like. I like. I like to be locked in. I like to have my foot down and planted so that way I'm fully in control. If I need okay. to go up a curb or something, you know, I can right. do it. Um, I don't it? like to leave. I don't like to leave the wheel. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it. A, I'll ride it. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm a slow rider. No, no, no. Again, this is a review. As many reviewers, I, these, as these I can pedals get. are good. You know why they stopped putting all the spikes in? Why? I, right. <laughs> why? The Y chromosome. <laughs> okay, what's your opinion? So I ride a V11, I'm happy with the V11, it does everything I need it to do, it's fast enough, it's the suspension pretty good I ride off-road with it this wheel is too much wheel for me and it's not the speed it's not the power because I didn't even test that it's just heavy so I'm used to a more nimble wheel um, the center of gravity is real high on this or yeah. just I know you can see when it starts to fall it's it's it takes a bit of grabbing to get it because okay. it, it wants to fall over so I'm not used to that much weight um, but riding it, it's really smooth. Uh, it cruises just really pleasantly. Um, the takeoff it, and braking? I wasn't uh, trying to do that. So I wasn't pushing it. Yeah. Um, that's just not the style of riding I do. Uh, and it felt like, I'm a little I'm intimidated by it because okay. it's so much weight. Mm. Because if it does start to get a little out of control, I don't want to have to you know, jump off or whatever. Right. Um, but it's it's real smooth, and over the bumps it's real smooth. Um, this is probably not the wheel for me, but if I was looking for a long range wheel based on the reviews I've heard of it, I might be considering it. And you didn't like range. the pads because of your shoe, or? Yeah, I couldn't get my foot on here with the default pads. Like I wear a size 12, and it was just a little bit too tight right here. Right. So I couldn't get my foot in there. Uh, maybe without this in here. Maybe I could squeeze it in, but my foot would be a little further back. Right. Um, and I could probably get used to that. We'll have to see. That's about nice. it. How, what do you think of the design? Very different than your V11. The design? Everything's exposed. I don't know. Do I guess I like having a, a sleek looking, nice looking wheel. I don't consider this that. I think the V11 is kind of a aesthetically nice looking wheel uh it does look a little bit weird with the saddle design but um this is just the way they are now i mean it's a style of when I mean, you had trucks that looked real smooth and then you have trucks now that look like monsters right and then the styles go back and forth um i don't think this is ugly it's 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 utilitarian in a way because i mean it's it's battery boxes shocks yeah pedals wheel you know, the, uh, the, the add-on comforts they have is they have added pads and they've added a seat. And that's, that's not too bad. I don't know what it's like sitting on that, but that's pretty cushy. Uh, it's got a fender on it. I rode uh, a few weeks ago in a ton of dust and having a fender was, was helpful. Um, I do like the pads for laying it down or if it falls over, you got something that's not going to damage it. Um, unlike the V11, the V11 is going to get scratched up, dinged up. Hopefully uh, these pads protect it. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, I think I would want something here on this corner. Right. Well, that's what you know? this is for. Yeah, that looks like a little bit too much for me. Okay. I mean, just for looks. Right. But I don't really know what it should look like. It does, if it was just here, oh, it might look mean. better than, I don't know why it's wrapped around the pedal. Right. On the top. Unless you think you're going to, and then that's kind of just flapping there. Well, I'm going to use um, Velcro for that. Okay. 
Because I like the design. Yeah, that's my opinion. One, one through ten, for you. I haven't tried enough wheels okay. to, to give a fair estimate. Cool. So. Awesome. Thank you. Your turn. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> He's looking at it. You gonna try it? I'll, I'll do a quick ride. Yeah, yeah, quick ride, and then we're out. You wanna try the post, or are you gonna hop on, or what are you gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can do it. Yeah. It's, it's real heavy. Yeah, coming from the V11. This Imagine is, the V13. Like even just, even just right here, I could you just feel, feel the weight. So. Yeah. Is the V13 heavier yeah, than that? Oh my heavier, gosh! Right? What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the V13 is insane. Is this 100 pounds? I don't know. Okay. The V13 is 110. Okay. And that's just out of the box, not adding yeah. anything. It feels big too. <laughs> well, remember, it's just like any other wheel. You push it, goes. Pedals don't dip a lot. Nope. When, and once you start going, it's like... Is your microphone on? It's yeah, I took, I took it out because it's dead. Mic. What do you think? I think I like, as a street wheel, I like it. You know, I'm not, I'm not used to... This is the widest wheel I've ridden, so I... You know, the first few seconds, I was just getting used to that, okay. but... Yeah, I like it. Also started making a little bit of a noise. Yeah, uh, that's the goat for you. Man. Something was scraping, I think. Nah, that's the goat. <laughs> okay, that's, that's normal. Sweet, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, I'm like, starting to hear some squeaks. I'm like, that's normal. Don't worry about it. It's the goat. But yeah, like if, if I was only going to ride in the city, that's an awesome wheel. Oh, really? Yeah. What makes you think so? It, you know, I was doing a little bit of carving there. It just felt, it just felt nice. Nice. You know, you, you guys were shitting on the tire, which, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is the heaviest wheel I've ever ridden, so I kind of, I kind of like that weight, right? That's awesome. Riding on the street, but um, nice. maybe the combination of the weight and having to have your legs wider, is, right. it just makes it more comfortable. But and you ride a what? V11. Okay. So that's coming from a V11. It's a lot narrower right. comparatively. Uh, is it intimidating to you? At first, oh yeah. Just hope when I was first hopped on it I'm like oh my god I'm gonna I'm, this is not gonna end well right yeah. <laughs> but no it was it was good and I noticed you were doing some braking when you were coming was yeah that, I was I was just trying to see if I could how it felt braking it okay. I, I thought it felt a little better in the V. sometimes on the V11 when I try and brake hard I I wobble okay you know I, I didn't I mean I wasn't going as fast as James and braking hard right. so I, I wasn't put I, I didn't push it at all there right just uh, I I'm nervous to push it with this thing. But overall, you know? great wheel, right? One out of ten for you. One out of ten. I'm sorry. Ooh. One through ten. <laughs> no. <laughs> what am I saying? Um. Shoot. I don't know. I uh. Sh if I. Because for me, I really want a wheel, wheel that I can ride on trails or something. Okay. So like, if I if I'm grading this against like other. Well, if I grade it against the V11, it's probably like an eight, right? Okay. This is, you know, far superior in every 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 aspect except for like Ben was saying, the looks. I right. don't I don't like these pads. I I mean, they do improve the look of it overall as opposed to taking them off, but I don't like them as actual power pads because they're just not adjustable, right? right. You can't you can't adjust it like you can with yep. the Grizzlas or any other pad device. But they do drastically improve the look of the wheel. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, man. And yeah. what's your handle? Oh, I don't have one. All right. What's your handle? <laughs> I don't have a handle. I'm just Ben. Ben. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for letting me ride it. It was awesome. No, no problem. Glad you liked it. All right. My first impression of the EX30. The wheel is smooth. The suspension feels great. Uh, great, good acceleration. I mean, look through the bumps, through the dirt, feels good. It is heavy. Uh, do I feel the weight? No, not riding at this speed, I don't. But if it's a wheel that you're gonna to have to lift up, you're definitely gonna feel the weight. I can tell already, I don't like the tire. I'm not a big fan of the tire. But it does feel good. It's pretty nimble for a big wheel. Again, this is all, you know, first impressions. There, it is comfortable. 
Wow. Be careful, there's a speed bump right here. You see the bump. Feels good. Acceleration is good. Um, I feel pretty good on it. I am getting a few wobbles because this is the first time I'm on it, but it feels pretty stable. Good power up the hill. I mean, there's no hesitation in the motor and it just sends, man. It feels good. Now, I am, like I said, you can feel the tire flopping though. The tire feels edgy. That would be, I think, the biggest gripe now. It just, it feels too edgy. Almost reminds me of the Hero tire. It, it's a CST, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. You can, I can, knobby. yeah, I can feel it. It's edgy. Braking's not bad. I mean, it's a big wheel, so you might want to give yourself a little bit of time. Add it just to brake. But you know that with heavy wheels anyway. You know, if you get one, you're going to have to give yourself a little more time to brake. Suspension is smooth, dude. It is. Now, I think I did, when I hit that one bump, I think I might have bottomed out. Yeah, it feel, dude, it feels good. It's, it's, it's like a luxury SUV. That's the best way I can put it. Like you're running with an X5 or something. Very good, and it just, it pulls up the hill. You know what I mean? It pulls. It's not like some wheels you're on the hill and you're like, man, this thing, it's not going to go. This thing just takes, just full sends you up the hill, dude. It's a very solid wheel. I tell you what, man. If this had a better tire on it, good contender versus the Master Pro. If it, if it had a better tire. The tire, I think, holds this wheel back. Maybe a better knobby, but this thing with a street tire? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think it's a wheel for you. Okay. Is it my type of wheel? No. And the reason for it is, the range, I'm not gonna ride it that far. I need something that's more fitting that I could transport with like I would I can put it in my car but lifting this thing in and out of my car onto the bus is not something I want to do but if I was looking for a nice comfortable range wheel with speed and power heck yeah man definitely I could see myself rocking this it'll take a little bit to get used to but after about a week or two you'll be fine on this wheel anybody I think even new riders even new riders yeah now if you're not used to heavy wheels you might want to go with something else. But um, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel as heavy as the uh, V13. It doesn't. It doesn't. Suspension's better than the V13 too. Maneuverability? Yeah. I think, like I said, the maneuver... Now, I would say the V13 to me, I probably get slammed in the comments, seemed a little more maneuverable, predictable because of the tire. That's what I think. I think the knobby on the V13 was actually better for me. This one, this one seems to flop a little bit. If you give yourself more time with this, do you think it's something might, that might change your mind? As far as what, with the tire? Uh, no, no, as far as just being a, being a wheel for you. Oh yeah, I could, get, I could definitely get used to this. I think my main reason why I wouldn't buy it because I need something that's a little more commuter friendly. But that's, I think that's the biggest reason. Okay. It may be the price. You know, I really don't want to go that steep, 3,700 bucks. But besides that, it's a, it's a nice wheel, man. Now, I did have problems with the pads. My toes aren't going to fit under the pads, the front ones. So I had to take it off. But besides that... Yeah, you can feel, you can feel it flopping, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can definitely feel like when I was picking up speed, I can feel, I can feel the tire flopping. But again, it's my first time on it, so I have to give it a fair shake. But if I had to do anything, if I would get the wheel, I would get it with a street tire on it. Because this is definitely not, it's a trail wheel, it's not an off-road wheel. This is a street wheel. It's a good competitive wheel? Is it? I, circuit racing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. But again, if you can handle the weight, if you get used to the weight of it, and so you can feel it when you, when you stop, you can feel it. But when you're moving, it feels really good. Looks good. Um, not a big fan. Like you put this pad on here, the Grizzler. That's Me. good. That's my setup. Yeah, this is good. I don't. I'm, this these look good, but they're doing absolutely nothing for me. Mm -hmm. I'm being completely honest. Even the pad down here, I can't fit my. I wear a size 12, and I can't get my foot under there. And there's not much adjustment you can do. So I would have to add something aftermarket. These look good, but it, to me, it's just it's not functional for my foot size. But I mean, the smoothness of the wheels on point. The suspension, I love it. The it weight, the look. it looks good. It's just not functional, I don't think, for me. The wheel itself. No, I think it looks good. I think the wheel looks. I think the wheel looks really good. Reminds me of a. Uh, like a bug, like a prey man in smoth or something. Nice. nice. But uh, overall, it, it's good. I, I wouldn't. Who would you recommend it for? I would recommend it for people that are looking for a solid range wheel, high performance, comfortable, something that you can get on a road. Like th this is an open road wheel. It's an open road wheel. I don't consider it a commuter if you have to put it on a bus or like the subway or train if you have to pick this thing up more than three times then it's going to get to you it's not that type it's an open road smooth comfortable wheel that can get up and go uh the tire i think if it was a better tire i'm not going to give it a 10 we already talked about that i would give this thing i would say because of the pads i can't feet my, put my feet under and a tire i would give it a 7.5 now some might be low, but I'm like, if the tire was on there, I would give it a solid probably eight. And if the, if the pads and stuff were better. It's just, I can't see spending this much money on a wheel and I can't even get my foot under here and I have to buy something to, to hook up the pads. Like this is not working for me at all. These pads are useless for me. And, only, and the only reason I can even do something with the pads because you, you customize it. So this to me is completely useless. It needs custom pads on it. So you're looking for um, a smaller suspension wheel? I Right now, the main contender for me is the Commander Mini Pro or, or the Patton. But I'm leaning more toward the Mini Pro. I'm going to see what the reviews say. I would love to get on that wheel, but I might just, I might be a hypocrite and just throw everything out the window that I normally say and just go ahead and buy it. Because I've never really just bought a wheel without riding it but I you know I hear great things from the Commander Pro and if they can carry some of that over to the Mini Pro I mean 134 volt suspension you know 2400 watt hour battery I think it has a 3500 watt hour motor on it 16 inch some say it's not 16 a little bit bigger I think that that'd be a good solid wheel all around wheel for me anyway my riding style